I had recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first as I began chopping trees down and crafting a workbench. I noticed something move amongst the dense fog. I have a very slow computer so I have to play with a tiny render distance. I thought it was a cow, so I pursued it, hoping to grab some height for armor. It wasn't a cow though. Looking back at me was another character with the default skin, but his eyes were empty. I saw no name pop up, and I double checked to make sure I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long. He looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity, but he was gone. I continued on with the game, not sure what to think. As I expanded to world, I saw things that seemed out of place for a random map generator to make. Two by two tunnels in the rocks, small perfect pyramids made of sand in the ocean, and groves of trees with all their leaves cut off. I would constantly think I saw the other player in the deep fog but I never got a better look at him. I tried to increase my render distance to far whenever I saw him, but to no avail. I saved the map and went on the forums to see if anyone had, anyone else had found the pseudo player. There were none. I created my own topic telling of the man and asking anyone if anyone had a similar experience. The post was deleted within five minutes. I tried again, and the topic was deleted even faster. I've seen a PM from the user Herobind containing one word, stop. When I went to look at the Herobrine's profile, the page 404, I received an email from another form user. He claimed the mods can read form user messages, so we were safer using email. The email claimed that he had seen the Mysterious Player 2 and had a small directory of other users who had seen him as well. Their world were littered with obviously man-made features as well, and described their Mysterious Player to have no pupils. About a month had had, about a month passed until I heard from my informant again. Some of the people who had encountered the mysterious man had looked into the name Hero Bright and found that name to be frequently used by a Swedish schemer. After some of the further information gathering, it was revealed to be the brother of Notch, the game's developer. I personally emailed Notch and asked him if he had a brother. It took him a while, but he emailed back with a very short me with a very short message. I did, but he's no longer with us. I haven't seen the mysterious man ever ever since our first encounter, and I haven't noticed any changes to the world other than my own. I was able to print print screen when I first saw him. Here's the only evidence of his existence.